Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you around this 2015 15 plate Audi A5 2 litre TDI S Line Special Edition Plus. Uh, this vehicle in particular has full service history, boasting five service stamps, and is finished in the Sapang Blue Metallic. This vehicle, same as every other, will be serviced and MOT in our specialist workshop prior to sale. First things first, I'm going to zoom out and do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again, but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop. We'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, we'll zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel set in the near side front. I will just mention that you see that the vehicle's on a private plate. It will be coming on the private plate with the registration uh, Foxtrot Kilo 02 Lima Foxtrot Charlie. Looking back down the near side now, so the near side front wing looks to be in good condition. Near side door looks good. Uh, the near side rear quarter is good as well. We do have a dent in the rear quarter that will have rectified by our dent docks prior to sale. Near side front alloy. Nice condition alloy. We've got light curve markings to the outer edge, so we'll have the outer edge of the alloys refinished in the same black prior to sale. The near side front tire is approximately 4mm. Moving down the near side, all panel work looks good. One or two light touch ups for us to do on this rear quarter. But at the same time, get the dent doctor to repair the dent, that crease there in that rear quarter you can see. Near side rear alloy, nice condition alloy again, very light curve markings to the outer edge, so we'll get the outer edge sorted. Uh, smart repair of prime to sale. The near side rear tire. Uh, it's a matching Mazzini on approximately 4mm. Looking back down the near side now from rear to front, as you can see rear quarter's good, just the one dent that's going to be rectified. Near side door looks good and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Near side rear bumper corner looks good, very light mark for us to polish the touch in just on that corner. Lower black plastic looks okay. Loading area looks good, one or two light marks for us to touch up but nothing major. Tail lights and tailgate also look in good condition you've got the blacked out badge which is a nice touch and then along the top of the uh, boot and the shutter for the roof looks in good condition as well i will get the roof up and show you at the end of the video looking back down the offside now from rear to front the offside rear quarter looks good offside door looks to be in good condition and the offside front wing looks good offside rear alloy nicer condition alloy this one one small mark just there to be sorted prior to sale, so we'll get that done at the same time. The offside rear tires, another matching Mazzini, approximately 4mm. Moving down the offside, again, panel work looks good. A couple of light age related marks for us to polish up best we can, but otherwise looks in nice condition. Offside front alloy, same again, nice condition alloy. Light curb markings to the outer edge that have been touched in, so we'll get those refinished by a smart repair of prior to sale. And the offside front tire, fourth matching tire, approximately 4mm. Looking back down the offside now from front to rear, front wing looks good, offside door looks good, and the offside rear quarter looks good as well. Moving around the front of the car now, we're going to check out all lights and grills on the front bumper itself. As you can see, all lights and grills look to be in good condition. We do have the very common slight peeling on the centre grill uh, that we'll touch up best we can. Uh, if you want the grill replaced, we can sort something out where we, we fit it in our at the prep stage for free if you want to buy your own grill. As for the front bumper, for the age and mileage of the car, looks in good condition. A few light marks for us to polish up the best we can and touch in. I think there's a little bit of polish and stuff left from Ballot, but a couple of light bits to touch in. Other than that, looks in nice condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. As you can see, panel itself looks good. There's no large dents, no major scratches. The only thing to note is same again, one or two light stone chips that you'd expect of a car of these miles. And we'll get those touched in with a genuine Audi Sapang Blue prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. Can't see any major damage to the screen. There's no large chips or cracks. Couple of light surface peppering, couple of light surface marks, but other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're gonna make our way through the interior. We'll start in the boot. Decent sized boot for a cab. All carpets and plastics look in good condition. Other than light wear and tear, you've got 50-50 split folding rear seats. Uh, this section of the box does fold away when the roof is not in use. So when your roof is up, you can pop that out of the way and have a bit more boot space. And all the plastics and trims underneath the boot lid look in good condition too. Moving through, it's nice and easy. I can chuck the camera over into the rear. You've got two factory rear leather seats. Both look in good condition. There's no excessive wear, rips or tears. A couple of very light impression marks, but otherwise looks in nice condition. So you've got two factory headrests, two three-point seat belts. Um, can't comment on ISA fixes on this model. 
as you can see as well you've got the upgraded bang and awesome which i'll show you through in the front as well backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpets look nice condition as well and you've got the rear heated seats moving through the front front door cars look in good condition we're just going to replace the central locking switch as the cap for it has uh, gone missing some very light damage to the top of the door card there as well front carpets are in nice condition and they have the front full leather s-line interior bolster still firm holding their shape no excessive wear no rips no tears no cigarette burns no traces of any odors very light wear to the bolster as you can see there but it's not excessive jumping in passenger seats just as nice if not slightly better the rest of the dash and the door cars look to be in nice condition does look to have been looked after side starting the car up we're running through as much of the spec as we can full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors we've got automatic lights and wipers in this car moving across we've got cruise control and the start just underneath the indicators up the center console you've got the fully adjustable leather armrest two usable cup holders you've got the electronic roof controls and master window switch there all your mmi controls in the center will run through in just a second electronic parking brake you've got the automatic transmission dual climate control uh, recirculation rear heated screen uh, air conditioning front heated leather seats as well traction control stop start and we've got full parking sensors with optical display and quite a rare option the reverse camera back to the mmi now as you can see we've got satellite navigation fitted we've got full telephone prep we've got bluetooth audio streaming and quite a few other options you can see there and under radio we've got dab and quite a few other options as well as i've already noted the upgraded bang and olufsen speaker system and then back over to the driver's side we'll finish off this leather bound s-line multi-function steering wheel with the upgraded flappy paddles and this car's on 82,712 miles but just before i let you go we'll show you the full roof operation and then i'll jump out and do a quick walk around with the roof up as well very fast roof operation in these see the climate control switch back on now the roof is up there we go and there you have it thank you very much for watching this video if you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock please give us a call on 01724 876 555 thank you very much